okay so what's going on guys welcome 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 to my youtube video and for today we are going to tackle the track none other than crash cove so for crash cove i would like to say that it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy because insane wall hugging skills is required here and you would need to really really organize your reserves for the first lap before you reach the turbo pad and with that said i would also like to say that whenever you see the developer william in a track expect it to be difficult expect it to be difficult so before we begin i would also like to recommend to use speed driving style here in crash cove so as usual i'm going to let it play first and then we analyze it bit by bit whoops we stopped there stopped before the shortcut anyway so here i would like to, i would like to remind you again guys that Sometimes filling the bar up until the line to get the perfect word here is not enough. Because if you let it fill at the very end, you get more reserves, okay? And it is especially crucial here in Crash Cove because I had experiences in the past where I lose the level 3 turbo fire once I reach the shortcut or the moment I land at around the bridge and it is especially important that you maintain your level 3 turbo fire here because William is going to get ahead of you like what I did here see that this bar here at the lower at the lower right sometimes that isn't enough you let it feel more up until the end to get more reserves okay then look at this my second boost there we go let it fill let it let it be full until before you trigger it you get more reserves that way okay and as you can see i did three turbo boosts there first facing the left one then jump a little bit of air time you get teeny weeny bit of reserves and then face the right turbo again then switch again jump face the left face the left because the next path is going to be to the left turbo slide and then here you turn you turn so that you can keep hugging the wall as what you can see on my controller you press the u-turn buttons the jump the brake the reverse button and the left left d-pad so this is us applying the u-turn tech during mid there and then before you land make sure that you will immediately proceed to power sliding power sliding to the left so you can keep hugging the left wall bam so boost you will be able to do three boosts here before you reach the waters one, two, three. Perfect. Jump. Okay, so if you aren't used to jumping here, I mean, using this path instead of using the ramp at the right side, then personally what I do here is I jump before the water and then jump again once I'm in the water so jump twice basically it just somehow indicates that you are going to be jumping at a ramp I'm sure there's a mini mini ramp here that enables you to jump over the shortcut yeah, that's just a little trick <laughs> jump before the waters and then jump again Okay, so for the shortcut, the moment you land here, make sure to power slide again, facing the right side. And then 
<laughs> once you get this position, immediately press the left of your D-pad so that you can maintain a straight line boosting and not go all the way to the right. Like what I did here. Okay, so as you can see, I did a good boost there, but it's okay since what since like what I said earlier, we were able to let the gauge fill up to the full. And that means we get we, we were able to get more reserves. Oh <laughs> doing good here is just okay. And not to mention we had to because we were going for a different path, not an optimal one. I think I did a bit of future near wait. I did a bit of U-turn here to reposition myself. Ah no, I just jump. Jump to the bridge. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we were talking about this. We are talking about this. Forgot area and this is the optimal way to go from the shortcut to the bridge. Basically just Go to a straight line from this corner up to the bridge area. It's pointless to keep hugging this wall because you're going to consume more time. Like if you compute the distance to travel this versus this, this one is more faster. Similar to right triangle. The next bridge part, once you land, boost again. <laughs> at least turbo boost and then wait I actually think it's better if you can power slide still by facing the left but I am used to doing it this way so if you can face the left here just that it feels wait for example, if I jump from here and then I power slide facing the right side, it feels like that if I jump and then power slide again to the right side, I'm going to hit this bridge support here. That's why I power slide to the right instead. And in order to get the boost jump here to the next, this one, I had to apply U-turn tech. To immediately reposition myself and go over there so you are welcome you are welcome to try power sliding facing the right side here right side and then the left side instead of what I did or you can do this the same way and maybe when you jump when you jump, do not hug this corner that much so that you won't encounter any problems. Anyway, so try doing at least two perfect boosts there to keep your level 3 fire and then the moment you reach here, jump to the left because additional boost is always welcome regardless if it's from airtime. There we go, airtime. And then once you land, immediately boost again. One, two, three. Keep hugging the wall here because, as you can see, it's a curve and it's crucial that you do a better wall hugging than William. Literally, married a wall in Crash Cove. Again. It takes some time to get used to this, guys, but I'm sure you can do it. Boost there, and then the moment we reach this path, take the turbo pad so that you can get SF. Then stay at the right side a bit because we have a little diagram here. I can just snipped it anyway. So, <laughs> from the bridge, we go here in this path and then jump a little bit here to gain airtime and gain reserve from the air boost. 
and continue hugging the wall here hug 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 the wall here then once we reach here you don't have to continue hugging this wall because if you do you will consume more time than usual so the best path to take for this for this one before the finish line is to go straight from around here while power sliding and turbo boosting of course that you can get more reserves but i'm gonna let it play again see i stayed at the right side you can also get to the turbo boost to the second turbo boost if you want to to get more reserves if you don't manage to go over it then it's okay as long as you get perfect boosts and continue doing that hug the wall here again like what we did in lap one you turn the boost again i did an okay here i did an i just did a good boost here because we now have more speed than like during lap one and it's still okay it's still fine we can still keep our fire then similar to lap one power slide immediately one two jump to the bridge power slide i'm gonna do a u-turn here again to force myself at the left side i did a u-turn right wait yeah, I did a U-turn, as you can see. Jump here to gain airtime and boost and reserves. Hug the wall. Take this straight. U-turn. Boost. 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 Didn't boost there. Guess it's... Well, I was still able to keep my fire. Two. Although I think my run during lap 3 is quite sloppy already. But since we were able to make the most of lap 1 and lap 2, we can still beat William. See here, I just boosted once. But we still have a lot of fire. Boosted once again. So yeah, as long as you can make the most of your lap 1 and lap 2, you will be... There, I mean, there would be more leeway for mistakes during lap 3. And since we have more reserves, since we have more reserves, we were still able to keep our SF. I mean, just look at that. You are supposed to boost here. You are supposed to boost here already, power slide here already, but instead, I kind of panicked a bit. <laughs> yeah, power sliding, and not to mention this the way i the way i hug the wall here is not the optimal one then continue to the straight path and you win against william may take more time for some of you guys but with practice i'm sure you can do it okay so before i end what are the key points to defeating the dev time here in crash cove first Try to maintain your level 3 turbo fire during the first lap before you reach the SF turbo pad as much as possible. And we can do that by not only getting perfect boost, but letting the gauge fill as much as possible. Perfect, perfect boost. Call that perfect, perfect boost. And then walls are your friend here, meaning stay beside the walls as much as possible hug the walls cut corners as much as possible especially on the upper part and lower part of crash cove i mean based from the map since the curves are located there and then optimize your racing lines like what i showed in the photos maintain a straight line around the path to the finish line Anyway, so that will be it, guys. Thank you for watching my tutorial again. If you want to see anything more, just leave a comment. Say what it is. I hope this helped you. So, bye-bye. Much love. I'll see you in my next tutorial or in my next live stream.